Remember, for the exothermic reaction, reactants at high energy state then products which means in case of endothermic reaction you have reactants will be at lower energy state than the products so i will make a line here like this for the reactants and for the product, we have a line on the right hand side like this. In between these two, we'll be, have, be having energy hump. This is energy hump for the activation energy. This is activation energy. It's going up. Remember, activation energy, the arrow must be going up. And as the energy is released, exothermic means energy is released to the surrounding and product is at the low energy state so the energy difference between the reactant and product must be shown in this way change in energy between reactant and product zn plus 2 hcl and we'll be getting zn cl2 plus h2 Let's label it. We have Ea for the activation energy and delta H for the enthalpy change. So this will be the final label diagram for this reaction.